Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Pages Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduke, and this is tip number 178, Partial URLs. When creating pages or files on your Power Pages site, you need to specify a partial URL. In this tip, I'll look at what a partial URL is, and how it is used to create the full URL for pages or files on your Power Pages site. Web pages and web files are organized hierarchically. That is, each one of these has a parent. This is what is referred to as the sitemap of your Power Pages site. The only exception to this is the home web page, which acts as the root of the sitemap. Each element in the sitemap has a partial URL. These partial URLs are then combined with the partial URLs of the ancestors of that page or file, its parent, grandparent, great-grandparent, and so on, separated by slashes, to create the full URL for that node. For example, if you have the home page, which has a partial URL of just slash, that has a child with a partial URL of child, and that page has a child with a partial URL of grand-child, the full URL of the grandchild will be slash child slash grand dash child slash. Since the partial URL is used to create the full URLs, you should be careful about what type of characters are included. For example, avoid spaces, slashes, question marks, and ampersands. In Power Pages, URLs are not case sensitive and usually end with a trailing slash. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Pages tip number 178 on partial URLs useful.